warm greeting sir this is sai krishna b1710327 e3 department of cc so here by presenting on the model of traffic signs recognition so if the main purpose of this model is to use in self driving cars you can see in this picture this car recognizes the speed limit of gate and the nearby cars when it is passed by so we have table of contents here so first thing first we are importing required libraries which are available in python and we go through data processing and we can go and next we go through model and finally we are go through testing step so in libraries first comes first we have to require we require these four libraries essentially for any machine learning model particularly these two numpy and pandas so in particular numpy is numpy is numpy provides mathematical capabilities so it simply defines like numerical python and we are importing in the name of lp and pro and pandas provides the flexibility of the data so we can play with the data we can create data frame or we can choose columns we can uh, you know we can drop the columns or we can manipulate the data in our way and then matplotlib and cban are used as we are used for visualization so we are importing part as pd and matplotlib in that particular we are using pyplot and it is imported as pld and cban as SS, sns and we are we have numerous styles uh, in matplotlib and cban in particular we are using style of dark grid when we use a C1 plot. And coming to our model libraries, we are using here CV2. It defines computer vision and PIL Python Imaging Library. So simply it provides image processing capabilities. And OS, you know very well. OS defines about you know changing director or making director all things. And coming to SQL and model selection, we just use this uh, train test split library to to split our data into training set and testing set and we had other tensorflow libraries these tensorflow libraries are essential uh, which we are mostly used for deep learning models so in particular we use keras um, which is under tensorflow and we had other things like you know to category and optimizers like item and initializer this is used to initialize weights and models sequential and load model so this sequential is in particular, we have uh, two types of methodologies. One is functional, and another one is sequential. We are using sequential. Uh, like we can say, you know, uh, this is like sequential layer after layer, layer. And then we load, we use load model to load our data. Uh, and then we use early stop. This like kind of you know regular decision. It prevents from overfitting. And we are using and um, so. In particular, let me go through this. So here we are using neural networks in traffic sense recognition. So what is a neural network? It simply resembles a biological neuron. So we know um, and we are very well aware of, uh, you know, biological neuron. So just scientists uh, resembled those neurons and created a networks. Um, in particular, we are using convolutional neural networks. So it is broadly used in the case of image processing. So it will define image very well. So we can see here uh, for a given image, this is smile. So it is a gray channel actually, black and white colors. So it will convert or you know it will understand in the way of binary numbers where it represents ones in the dark colors, zeros in the white colors. So in particular, it can reduce the most of the uh, complexity. You know the image is far, the numbers are far better than image so for for a computer so we'll go through again this so we are using layers like convolution 2d average pooling 2d dense layer flatten dropout batch normalization uh, we can go through this go this go through these layers uh, when we use them and so okay we can go through data processing uh, here we are classifying our data and labels so in particular we have 43 classes you know 43 in sense uh let's say 43 signs like
लाइक स्पीड लिमिट और यू नो कॉशन और ब्रिज सेट और ए गो लेफ्ट और गो राइट सो दिस और ऑल ऑफ फोर्टी थ्री एंड वी आर जस्ट चेकिंग आवर करंट पाथ एंड टू प्रोसेस द इमेजेस यू नो वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन हियर इज लाइक वी आर वी आर चेंजिंग आवर पाथ टू दी पाथ ऑफ द इमेजेस सो वी आर इम्पोर्टिंग दट इमेज एंड रिसर्चिंग इट एंड वी आर मेकिंग एन अरे ऑफ इट एंड अपेंडिंग इट टू द डाटा क्लियर and the label of that image is is append appending it to the labels okay clear and then we are converting this numpy arrays converting this list data and labels into numpy arrays and then you know uh, we are creating a traffic training director directory and we are adding these arrays uh, you know uh, for data for data are into data and labels are into and we are loading the service and here comes the model so we are just checking the shapes of the data and labels so we are splitting with the help of train test feature so x train x test y train y test in particular this comes under you know features and this comes under uh, target so we are using a test stage of 0.2 which is a 20 percentage of the data you know out of 100 percentage we are using 80 percentage of train data and 20 percentage of test data and you know we are checking here uh, shapes of the train test data and see you now we are just converting into one hat coding so uh, it's like uh, you know converting into categorical uh, like uh, you know pd dot get damage you know for example for a male and female uh, instead of strings we can go through zero and one right for male zero and for female one so it's all like that so coming to building our model so as i said we are using sequential model so you just as I, as i mentioned here so uh, sequential classes created and the model layers which we create after are added to this so is a linear stack of layers so here we are adding those layers uh, like conversion duty or bosch normalization or whatever in a piece wise manner so it may has a name this way so and then we are adding a convolution layer here so as i discussed uh, this is all convolution can do so we have an ima input image and we have feature detector so uh, from the image it detects a feature then we have feature map so it just maps the features uh, into an uh, so it reduces the Uh, you know complexity uh, by making features into a uh, matrix so here here we used a drawback uh, gray scale image so black and white that's it so there is a drawback of there is a drawback of gray scale image the image thinks when it goes to convolution layer you know as it is or oh, you know only two colors like that so so instead we uh, for the case of you know red uh, rgb channel so we had uh, other three matrices uh, like a layer here and another layer here so for each channel we had another matrix that separate for the convolution layer and we had batch normalization uh, you know uh, we are just scaling our uh, layers uh, into a specific range so as we do normalization in our uh, regular machine learning models uh, and we are mentioning our kernel size is like three cross five matrix and we have an activation function value so in particular activation function is nothing but you know it imposes a non linearity in the data so without them uh, we don't know the exact features or it like activating the features okay and then we have input shape and kernel is initializer it simply initialize the weights as i say for example consider this neural network Uh, you know uh, we had a lot of players so we must initialize weights so that it gives priority to particular features what are essential and what are not and then okay this is all done so so we are we are just adding a couple of players um, alternatively one after the other convolution to the layer and then batch normalization then convolution then batch normalization here just we are using dropout layer uh, you know it simply 
uh, simply avoid overfitting and, and then we are using here pooling layer so it's another type of layer so it's these are steps like actually we have to use convolution max pooling anywhere max pooling or average pooling this is a pooling and then flattening and the full connection so what is this pooling layer actually so we had average pooling and max pooling we used in our case average pooling let's discuss about max pooling so it is responsible for reducing the spatial size of convoluted feature so simply like think like this for all these cases case of matrix so we simply uh, can assume a lot of cases here so for example take this case to cross the matrix 1 to 2 1 we simply convert this matrix into a single number which is the maximum of it for example out of this four we had maximum of two and then mapping these four values into a two here clear and then we have uh, okay we are using average pool here it's simply average of four numbers like this uh, where we use maximum here in particular we use my average pooling here and then then we added flatten so it's like you know uh, flatten just flatten matters into a vertical one not an issue uh, i don't miss something okay so coming to activation functions you know we had other couple of we had another uh, more activation functions like sigmoid this is really activation function and softman activation function so we use uh, when they are required not an issue okay then uh, at last we added dense layer uh, in particular it is added at the output layer uh, and then we had dropout as i said two towards you know overfitting and then at last and again dense layer so and then so this softmax it, it has a capability of scaling the numbers into probabilities so at last you know we add softmax as activation function and then we compile our model with the loss of uh, you know loss function this categorical cross entropy and we can optimize the atom so you can so we are very aware of uh, app optimizers actually so like you know we had optimizers and gradient descent so but in particular atom has both like you know uh, it can optimize uh, learning rate as well as gradient and the metrics we are used here is accuracy not an issue so after the compilation you just uh, display some message of summary so we can here see here at first conversion to the layer of size 28 28 32 and parameters of 8 9 6 and go on at last we had 18 18 28 and 1 1 1 3 after flatten we had a vertical one of size 1 28 so regarding all this and then we used an early topping library so to as i said it avoids overfitting so it has hyper parameters like monitor mode and verbose we use monitor which is con the what the quantity to be monitored and mode is like min max auto so here we use minimum so it says like you know training will stop when the quantity monitor has stopped decreasing you know when loss is decreasing so okay so when loss is decreasing or increasing so the validation loss is decreasing uh we'll stop our model uh, we'll stop our training of model okay and then verbose one notation it will display the messages and we put one and zero means silent and then history of our model actually uh, so it uh, it's like you know we're fitting our model here so it's frame and it is uh, its target and its future and where we mentioned a back size of 256 and apex of 20 so it trains in 20 20 apex actually which is with a size of 256 which is like that so we put here validation data x test and y test as we split earlier and our callback function is early stop once the validation loss uh, go on decreasing it will stop till so you know here we mentioned 20 apex uh, but uh, you know it stopped at uh, 9 and displayed a message due to early stop so that, that what i mean so once it triggers that training is overfitting then it will stop on its own clear yeah. and then we are just displaying or you know just plotting uh training accuracy and validation accuracy and we are just plotting loss here uh just you know uh, history of loss history of value loss 
same things here this shop are creation this shop and accuracy and this all just you know stable while label title for legend you know with this legend we can uh, you know it's like scale what what blue means scaling loss and orange means value loss So let's go for testing. Here I created a function named testing. So we are just you know importing the image from the images uh, with where I where the images are located in the Facebook CSV file. Where we have label and images values. So we're just storing label and images value there. And and then uh, you know uh, we have paths there, uh, paths of the images. And we are opening the image and we're just uh, scaling the image and we're just appending it to the data. So then it will come to the uh, test data. So, you know, uh, after that, uh, we are just using our model to predict our, to predict the given image. So we are just using this model dot predict of X test. So simply it will test, uh, it will classify our provided images whether it is you know um, it belongs to class 1 or class 40 or class 43 so it gives the uh, it gives the maximum value or like you know um, it returns the index of maximum element of the array in the tax uh, for example it belongs to caution of a general caution uh, then it will uh, you know it will label the general uh, caution class as one and accordingly like that you know uh, if it uh, if it detected it's uh, it's like an you know go left class then it will uh, label the class as one so it will go on like that so the most probability got uh, you know rank the most probability got first rank like that so here like that then we then we are going with the uh, accuracy of the data we are just using the metrics of scale uh, we are here displaying classification report of uh, y prediction and the original label. Okay. Uh, we have taken here precision, recall, and reference for and support. Uh, here, uh, simply support is the number of actual occurrences of the class in the specified data set. So, similarly, there are other metrics like precision and recall. Then we have here confusion matrix, so it is also a metric uh, which is comparing our label with the y prediction. So, this is the thing. Uh, we can save our model with the help of model.save and with an extension of it. Uh, mostly uh, we use PK uh, for saving the model uh, or, or we can dump where uh, you know wherever we need. And then we have and then we load our model. Uh, so just mentioning path, model equal to load model in the path. And then we are we have this class of graphics and as I mentioned there are 43 classes, 0 to 42, 43. Uh, and then these are the names we're just storing in a dictionary and then see here we're just you know displaying our uh, predicted image like that so here uh, the same thing which we, we used in testing uh, just it returns the image and the right prediction so uh, you know uh, here we can see uh, up to here uh, we opened the image and we just scaled it and then we appended the data and the array of the data is y test that is x test and the prediction here model that predict of x test and then we are written uh, our image and the y prediction okay okay let's see here we just mentioned path and it will go to this function and then uh, the return of that you know uh, classes prediction of zero means it will just you know uh, it will display the value of that label you know for example that we have class of 10 we dis then it displays no passing way or three perfect ones like that so we provided path of uh, 401 401.pn actually we have 401.png named image as 30 speed limit you can see here it's 30 uh, once we provide it here you can see here the prediction sign is speed limit 30 so our model and then we can display our message here speed limit 30 km per image we can also mention you know uh, under paths here not an issue uh, okay this uh, display message then we can plot our prediction here and at last 
thank you uh, you know it's a small one uh, it's a fact actually a fact so when machine learning algorithm learns to such type of flow it's all over you know uh, when it's such on its own you can say that's the milestone of machine learning guys okay. that's it and also uh, i need to mention another thing I has created a class cat uh, i said right we can save our model and use and we can use it wherever required so here we are uh, saved our model model and i just uh, you know deployed it uh, using flask and i just created a flask app uh, with a two templates actually one is index and then prediction so uh, the main purpose of it is you know once we created our model it's difficult to use on the interpreter itself you know uh, if it gone lost and we have to you know train all the over again when we start uh, again working on it so instead of it once train we can dip, um, save our model and use later so that's where i use so uh, just i created an app so here where i mentioned the path of the model and it is a small piece of code uh, which we used in the uh, testing bit uh, so just you know once we uh, run our app using this using this python interpreter so it will navigate to, okay once our run our app uh, it will navigate to the local host once our run our app it will navigate to local host so it will uh, it will give us a port 5000 and it's the actual interface it's a just bit of html code actually so where we can choose our file for example we can choose here general portion and it will display here what we choose and once we uploaded it it will navigate to the prediction and gives us a prediction so the most probability is general portion 0.9 and the other you know some relevant um, predictions traffic signals no way to spy so we can also try again here by clicking it choosing another file for example a random pick of you know uh, this file limit 80 okay so of course uh, we can see here speed limit 80 which is the most probable thank you